Hey, what's up my people? You're welcome back to my channel, Jojo Connect. My name is Jojo and I make videos on how to get various things done easy and simple. I also give YouTube tips on how to grow and sometimes I do comedy skits. If today's your first time joining us on this channel, you want to do me a favor and click on the subscribe button and also click the notification bell so that you will get to know when I drop a new video. That will really do me a lot of good. So. In today's video, I will be talking about the four common mistakes made by new YouTubers. If this sounds to you like a topic you would like to listen to, then you want to stay back and watch this video. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jojo Connect. Yeah, today I want to talk about four mistakes that new YouTubers often make when they start their channel. Number one, creating videos that nobody cares about. Yes. When you create videos that nobody really cares about, it's as good as you wasting your time. What do I mean by creating videos that no one cares about? For example, you are a new YouTuber, you're not popular, you're not famous, and then you're making videos about yourself. <laughs> There's nothing wrong about making videos about yourself, but it's gonna take you a longer time for you to grow on the platform. Even if you make a video of how you bought a new Ferrari, it still wouldn't make so much sense because nobody really knows you. So what you wanna do is to create videos that can have value to people. Go on YouTube, make research, and find out videos that really have an impact on people. So replicate those videos and do similar videos in that area. If you do that, you will end up growing your channel in the shortest time possible. So you don't want to create videos that people don't care about. Sometimes I see people just make videos like, oh, my daily routine. You're not popular. Who cares about your daily routine? You just wait until you become famous and start making your daily routines, you know what I'm saying? But then, you just need to what to create videos that can impact people's life. Are you with me? Number two, wrong YouTube intro and wrong use of cards. Now, you want to be sure that your first 10 seconds in your video is captivating so much so that it can keep audience retention. Now, the YouTube algorithm takes into consideration the first 10 seconds for retention. If people click into your video and in the next 10 seconds they click out, then it will have no good on your channel. So what you want to do is to make sure that your intro is that you can retain your what, your audience. For example, in this video, the first 10 seconds, I've actually quickly let you know what the video is about. Four common mistakes made by new YouTubers. So, Viewers who are interested in this kind of topic will definitely stay around to see the end of the video So you want to make sure that you don't start your video with intros with some boring songs and stuff like that That could actually get your viewers to leave the video. So make sure that your intro is Captivating so much so that it will actually retain your audience uh, on the channel also, you want to make sure that you're not using your cards wrongly. Oftentimes, I see videos where YouTubers use their cards at the beginning or in the middle of a video. This is as good as you sabotaging your video for failure, in the sense that if you actually call a card in the middle of your video and ask subscribers, you can click the card above, you're actually telling them, leave my video and go and watch the next one. And the algorithm will just assume that the video is not doing so well and that is why people are clicking out of the video. So you want to make sure that your card is actually what placed at the end of the video. At the end of the video, that is more ideal. Or better still, just put a link of the video in your description and ask them to click on, uh, on the link in the description below. That is much more appropriate. Number three, limiting your creativity all in the name of picking a niche. I always say this, there is nothing wrong in picking a niche on YouTube. 
But what is wrong is limiting your creativity, your skill, all in the name of picking a niche. Now, remember, you're a new YouTuber and the first thing at the back of your mind is to grow, get more subscribers on the channel. So, if you want to take my advice, I would simply say that you actually go ahead and what? And you know, spread your tentacles and make sure that you have people subscribing to the channel from different areas. You want to show them whatever skill you've got, your potentials. For if, if you're good in um, music, put your videos out there. If you're good in photography, put your videos out there. So you don't want to limit yourself in one niche if you're starting a YouTube channel. What you want to do is to spread your tentacles, get subscribers from different areas of the world, of the platform. Now, as you grow, or better still, if you have a product that you want to promote, you can choose a niche for that product. You can actually choose a niche for that product because you have a target audience. But in this case, we don't have a target audience. We are trying to grow. So what do I do? I spread all the videos out there. As time goes on, I can end up picking a niche. Does that make any sense? Number four, schedule your uploads properly. Yes, this is very important. You want to schedule your uploads properly, so much so that it keeps you consistent on the platform. Now, you don't want to uh, you don't want to upload 10 videos at once in one week and in the next two months you're nowhere to be found. So it is better that you even upload one video per week or even one video every two weeks so that you can actually be consistent on the platform. It doesn't make sense that when you have subscribers coming to your channel and then after some time they can't find anything to watch on your channel anymore. What does that mean? It means that they would end up probably just staying there or you might end up losing those subscribers so you want to try as much as you can to schedule your upload properly make sure that you're consistent on how you bring out your videos let your subscribers know okay every month I bring out one video every two weeks I bring a video out on the platform so that makes them actually have some hope that they're gonna get videos from you not like you bring out 15 videos in one week and in the next six months we can't see you anymore on the platform that will really hurt your channel so guys this is where i'm gonna stop for today i hope you've learned something on this channel remember to click on the subscribe button remember your support is important to me thanks love you guys